Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I am elated to be standing in front of you on this milestone achievement of 50th pep talk uh, session. It is just completed. There is no better time than to pay tribute to this uh, this session, which is kind of a ga uh, game changer uh, for many of us. Many of the people, as Rudy also mentioned, have transformed out of this session. Yeah, and Ian, the man behind, the great man, is retiring after the 50th session and is handing the ma uh, mantle to Saurish and Kavita. So when I did my pep talk almost a year, a year, year ago, the, the, one of the key learning for me was to, to learn communication skills is to start communicating. <laughs> that had a very profound impact on me. I started talking, my attitude changed, I started speaking to strangers at the airport or a railway station or West Ham, and I never lost an opportunity to speak in public. One of the other things which came to me was also, he had popped up a question, who are you? Like, who am I? It was like, you know, first I started off like a, you know, kind of a silly question. Then I started thinking, okay, there's something behind that. It had a very really powerful impact on me. Thinking about what is my likes, what am I? And then there's another complimentary question of uh, what's the purpose in your life? Yeah, just adding to that. Is it just to make uh, merry, drink, and be happy, or is there a higher purpose to that? And one of the uh, the, the most uh, powerful impact on me was the positivity which I carried forward from the pep talk. It remained with me everywhere throughout. It made me. I found my lost happiness with that positivity. I could find that every situation we could be positive. Any situation, irrespective of what happening beside you, around you, you could still be positive. That will bring you joy and happiness in you. Let me share this beautiful story with you. This story of a beautiful rich lady. The rich lady went, and went to the psychiatrist and complained. Her life is meaningless. There's, there's some kind of emptiness, a vacuum in her life. The psychiatrist sent her to the counselor. Counselor called upon an old lady who cleans the office space. The old lady came in and the counselor asked the rich lady just to listen to this old lady uh, on how she found her happiness. And the old lady started narrating her story. It started like this. I lost my husband almost three months ago and immediately after that, my only son met with an accident and he was also killed. I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I didn't even smile at anyone. My life was kind of lost. I, I, I wanted to kill myself. Until one evening, I was returning from my ward and one small kitten followed me. It was, <clears throat> I was walking and then this, I felt pity for this kitten and then let that come in because it was cold outside. And I gave some milk and she, and, and she licked it and completed immediately. And she poured and rubbed on my legs. And somehow after many months, I smiled, smiled for the first time. Then I realized, I thought for a moment, if helping a small kitten could make me happy, then maybe helping others, could, I could find my happiness. The next day morning, uh, I baked some biscuits and went out to see a neighbor who was sick in bed. And, and, and I followed this daily. I started doing something nice for the people. I, uh, and seeing them happy made me happy. Today, uh, I don't know if anybody who sleeps better than me or eats better than me. I found my happiness by help giving it to others. The rich lady cried. She had lost many things in her life. That she, she gained, she has lost many things. She, she gained many things which uh, the which the money could buy, but she lost many things which money could not buy. The, uh, the kind of the, the beauty of life is not just about you know how you being happy, but how you can be a cause of happiness for others. The happiness is is a journey, not a destination. It's not a des des destination. It's a journey. It's not tomorrow. It's today, and it's not a dependency. It's a choice. It's a, it's a power with you to decide and take a decision. It's your choice, and the happiness is is what you are <coughs> and not what you have. Yeah. So let's uh, that's that's a story, and let's make this platform. You know, uh, now Ian is stepping down, and then we have this beautiful platform of, and we have the legacy of all the pep talkers. So let's take it forward. Let's help each other. Let's cross pollinate. 
and make this forum alive. There is no other tribute to pep talk than the pep talk is coming together and making it as a very lively platform. Thank you. And uh, let me uh, let me introduce and invite Cherisha Agrawal, who is going to be the MC. She is going to be the facilitator for today evening. So, Cherisha, you can take the stage. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Sam. That was very inspiring. So we're all here to celebrate 50 pep talks. Wow, that's huge, right? So for Ian Faria and every participant who decided to do pep talk, this evening is a tribute to all of you. And with Ian's birthday coming up, what better way to celebrate, right? <laughs> okay, so moving forward, we have a bunch of beautiful one-minute speeches prepared for you. Jay will handle the timer today. Would you like to tell everyone how the timing will work? Yeah, 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, uh, 